Hey guys, so it is the day before, or the night before my surgery. I've been a space cadet all day. I feel like it's just my brain just trying not to think about anything because I'm, I've been so nervous about it. It's like I'm not really nervous, I'm not constantly thinking about it, but I'm still nervous. Subconsciously, it's definitely there. I've just felt drained and exhausted all day. I've had a lot of things to get done before tomorrow. But anyway, I waited until the very end of the day and now, sorry about the neighbor's dog barking, the window's open, but so I'm filming in the bathroom so the lighting's horrible, but it's the only room with proper light. Yeah, so pretty much uh, right now I'm just trying to like prepare everything for tomorrow morning. They called me around noon and gave me my surgery time, which is at 8.30 a.m. I'm about an hour away from the surgical center, so I'll probably leave, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, two hours early, I don't know, because I just want to make sure that I have time to do whatever paperwork they might have for me. I did do some paperwork online, so I'm not sure that they really need me there early. They didn't say. Maybe just a half hour early might be good. I'm putting together a backpack of all the things. They say to wear loose clothing to the appointment. They want a zip-up type jacket or some kind of a zip-up shirt so it's easy to take off or put back on. They do put you in a gown when you get there, I think, so I'm not sure why it matters. But yeah, so I got sweatpants and a zip-up jacket. They also mentioned something about possibly wearing tight legging type pants because I will be getting the fat taken out of my leg probably unless they need to get it somewhere else and they said something that's tight will be nice so I'm gonna also bring that just in case just to double check them so I'll have the sweatpants and the tight pants so I'm not missing anything I already picked up my prescriptions so they gave me some anti-nausea just in case the pain medicine makes me feel nauseous. Last time it definitely did, but this time it's a bit different. They are giving me Norcos. Uh, last time it was Percocet for a different surgery and I will never take that again because that made me very sick. Some antibiotics, which I will be taking until they are gone. That's more just like as a precaution, just to make sure that you don't get an infection, you know? And then hydrocodone is the generic form of the Norcos. And then um, for nerves, they gave me two five milligram. It's Valium, but I think the generic one is Diazepam. So one of them I'm supposed to take tonight and one in the morning. He said it's a very small amount, so it's just enough to kind of take the nerves, but you still know what's going on and you're not gonna be totally out of it, which I kind of wish that I would be totally out of it because I'm really scared of going to the surgery room. But anyway, we'll see. Tonight I'll find out what it feels like and then there was some other items that I picked up at the store uh, that were on a list that he gave me that I will need for after. So I made sure that I'm going to have all these things together just in case I have any questions for them about making sure that I have the right products. So he said I needed saline nasal spray. So I got the pharmacy people told me this one. They wanted some Afrin, another nasal spray. I guess it's for congestion. They mentioned Basitrat, I don't even know how to say this word. Basitracin, Basitracin? I don't know, it's an ointment. Um, it's kind of like Neosporin, but a little bit different. So I got that one. There's a lot of products that have a little bit extra something else in them, like the saline nasal spray. I noticed some of them had like baking soda because it was an Arm & Hammer brand. The Basitracin, there was one with like soothing aloe. So I just tried to avoid anything that had anything extra in it because they didn't specify it. So I didn't want to get the wrong thing or think that aloe is going to be soothing and have it actually be worse on stitches. So I didn't want to mess with that. So I just wanted just the straight across only the thing that the doctor said. And then because pain medicine backs everything up, they did mention to get this. So um, from what I remember, might be TMI, but I'm pretty regular, but pain medicine will definitely back things up. So it's good to have that. Also, they said the night before to drink a Gatorade. So I'm drinking this tonight. <laughs> Not sponsored, but yeah, so I drank one last night too. I just want to make sure that I'm properly hydrated. It definitely makes a big difference um, on how you feel, I think, after the anesthesia. So um, being properly hydrated is, is pretty important. Just hopefully it helps with not waking up with nausea. Also, my surgeon said that it was okay for the week or two before to be taking Arnica Montana. So these are almost like little tiny sugar pills and you put like five of them a few times a day 
day. I only took them once a day. It took like three one day, four another day. Today I took five. I don't know. I'm just cautious with everything I take, even though it's like totally natural. Then there was bromelain. Uh, I'm turning it the wrong way. And bromelain is an extract from pineapple from the stem. So technically you can just drink pineapple juice, which is what he told me to do. He's like, just get pineapple juice. It's super easy. It'll get the job done. But I had already bought the supplement. So I took the supplement, but I didn't take it today just in case it was kind of a high amount. But that's just me being cautious once again. I just read something about like it can cause more bleeding. Same with the Arnica. I mean, it's not a huge surgery, but just in case I figured just kind of more cautionary. It's not necessary to take those two things. You definitely want to check with your surgeon. Make sure that they're okay with you taking that or even would recommend it. Bromelain is also, it's kind of cool. It helps with sinus inflammation. So um, it's kind of nice because I will be having surgery on my nose. Um, I've noticed it actually helps me breathe a little bit better sometimes after I take it. So that's interesting because I always have figured that it's allergies. It's kind of like always kind of a stuffy feeling, which is why they're going to be opening up my airway a little bit more while they're in there. So I'm just packing up my bag. I'll have all these things in the backpack along with my jumpsuit, making sure all my clothes are ready. I need to pay the surgical center their fees. I already paid the surgeon uh, when I had my last appointment with them. And then the surgical center fee is separate. So I'll be taking that to them tomorrow. Sometimes they ask for you to take it in a couple days before. They said it was okay for me to take it in tomorrow. So I figured I'd rather not take two trips because when I stay in Utah, I stay like an hour out of town. So it's just kind of nice to do it all at once. I'm trying to get everything else done that I will need just for the upcoming week. I do have someone helping take care of me, so I'll have help, but I just want to make sure, like, I don't know, in my mind, I would just want to make sure that everything's ready for me. So, like, all my laundry is done, my sheets are clean and everything, so I can just, like, lay in a clean bed when I get home. So I'm just doing all my laundry tonight and just making sure that my bed and little healing area will be ready. So we will see how that goes. I don't want to stay up too late. I do want to get some sleep. And then here in a little bit, I might only take half of the five milligrams I don't know. I just, I'm not sure what it's, it's like, it's giving me anxiety to take an anti-anxiety, <laughs> which is ridiculous, but I'll probably take half and see how that feels. And then in another, like in a half hour, if I feel like I need another half, I'll take the other half. So I almost forgot. And I'll try to do this again in the morning just because the lighting will probably be better. But so, I mean, obviously you guys have been watching me talk, so you can see the front of my face. You can tell how tired I look. I probably am tired. I've been kind of out of it all day in the past few days, but that's the thing. I I always kind of look tired just because of the hollows around my eyes and I get that bag around there which is the reason that I'll be getting the fat transferred right around there. He also mentioned that he is going to try if he has enough um, fat that he can get he's going to try to put it right around here on this bony part because when I smile it like poofs up right here but it's like just bone right there. Um, I have a very skinny face it's just they're just, I don't know, it's been that way always. So, so I'm kind of glad that he is going to try to put some fat right there because having a little bit more cheek, I'd love that. So um, then on my nose, I mean, kind of with this lighting, you can't really see much, but from the side, we'll be bringing this, the bridge in and turning the tip up a little bit. And then he'll be making it thinner and probably adjusting the tip of the nose from the front as well after tomorrow. If I don't, um, I'll probably talk to you guys in the morning. I don't think I'll be too loopy from uh, the anti-anxiety that they're giving me, but I'll be able to kind of tell you guys how I'm feeling. Tonight I've definitely had my nerves starting to get going, but it still doesn't quite feel real as of yet. I just, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's like your mind starts to like mess with you and you feel like, oh, you're not actually going. You know, I keep thinking that I'm going to forget and wake up and eat breakfast and I don't even know. So um, obviously that's not going to happen, but it's like, I just need to remember after midnight, no food or water. And so to take the anti-anxiety medicine in the morning, I can only use a tiny, tiny bit of water, like a thimble size. So I might just try to like, I don't know, swallow with my spit. <laughs> just sounds easier because they said if I drink too much water they will not do the surgery so obviously it'd be like me telling them like oh I chugged a whole cup of water with this and it's super tiny like I wouldn't need that but so yeah I don't know maybe I'll take the half with you guys here in a minute whenever I'm ready I just need to get some things done before I start to relax too much so I'll talk to you guys in a bit Okay, so it's about 10.30 at night and I should probably get going to bed pretty soon even though I'm not tired at all, which I would totally expect not to be able to fall asleep 
at all the night before surgery just because that's how I am if I have anything to do early in the morning like I just can't sleep so thank goodness that they gave me the diazepam um, hopefully it helps me sleep but I am only gonna take half as you can see it's like teeny tiny like it's so small <laughs> even though it like the whole pill is super small I just only want to take half just to see what happens in a half hour see how I'm feeling then I know in the morning whether I should have half or the whole thing I'll probably have the the whole pill in the morning that is tonight if in a half hour I feel like it's not really that strong I'll take the other half um at 11 o'clock so yeah so let's see Whenever I think about it, it's so hard for me to swallow pills. It like got stuck on my tongue. So, well, it's gone. Also, I still need to drink this whole thing before I go to sleep. So in the next half hour, I need to guzzle that. I only have an hour and a half to get some food in my stomach if I want to. I might have a little snack. I'm not really hungry. Once again, if I have nerves, <laughs> I'm not really hungry. I made sure to eat all three meals today. Got up, had breakfast. So I had a couple eggs on toast. Then I had a sandwich for lunch. So it was like chicken sandwich on a croissant and then I had some dinner shortly after we went out to eat and had my final supper. It was a really good salad. It was so good. It was a kale, quinoa, goat cheese, cranberry, and walnut salad. It was so good. Just like that combination of everything together. It was really good. And I had that with a cup of hot chocolate, oddly enough, and that was pretty much it. I think that's all I had today. Oh, and a protein bar. So, I mean, sounds like enough but I think I might have another little snack since I'll probably wake up a little hungry or maybe not <laughs> probably thank goodness for nerves I guess because I probably won't want to eat anyway but then I don't know if I'll be able to eat much after I get back I mean I know I'll force myself to eat with the pain meds but I might not be feeling well I don't know so I have some saltine crackers also that I bought and I have those ready for just in case I can't really hold anything down and I need to eat something with the pain medicine. They did say salting crackers and chicken broth or some kind of broth is good for the recovery time just because something bland and liquid, you know, is, is good. I also bought some nutrition shakes, kind of like Ensure's, but it was the Costco brand just in case I'm not eating very much. Um, I want to make sure that I'm eating, you know, obviously, because the weaker you get, the worse you feel and that is not fun. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I'm eating or getting my nutrition for those days that I'm not, that I might not be feeling well. Fingers crossed. I feel amazing. I recover great and I feel like it's nothing, you know, but I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Kind of crazy. So talk to you guys in 30 minutes. We'll see what happens, which I'm starting to get anxiety just thinking about the fact that I took some medicine right now. Ugh, I hate medicine. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, so it is midnight. I'm super tired. I'm not supposed to eat past midnight, so of course I ate up until midnight. So I had, um, I finished my Gatorade right before and I made myself some soup just so I had some food <laughs> for like at the very last minute, I guess. So when I took the half diazepam, um, within 30 minutes, it actually worked really well. Um, considering I only took half, it took away my nerves. I just like was more calm. It's kind of weird. Um, I wasn't sure if my mind was playing with me a little bit because I kind of felt like not dizzy but like a little unstable but still like totally coherent just whenever I thought about the procedures tomorrow I just wasn't as nervous but if I'd taken the whole one I think it would have definitely made me a little bit more like loopy because I felt a little bit different but just enough to calm me down and now I'll be able to sleep no problem it's already been an hour and a half now when I think about it I still get a little nervous but I'm still more tired than nervous um, so I'm sure it's still helping and then when I wake up I'll be able to take another the whole one but I'm gonna wait until I'm arriving to the surgical center because it kicks in within 30 minutes but you don't want to take it too soon so it wears off before but you don't want to take it too late either but yeah you guys have a good night and I will see you in the morning bye <laughs>